Hi guys, it's Brittany. I'm packing our bags for our car camping, our first ever camping experience with our toddler, our almost two-year-old son this weekend. Phil and I are so excited because we used to go camping before we had a baby and we're really excited to share this experience with him. We think he'll love it. But first things first, packing. It is a lot. It's a lot of stuff to plan and I kind of wanted to share with you my tips and my strategies for packing with a baby, car camping, packing with a baby. First of all, I don't know if this is obvious, but I cannot stress enough how much you want to have everything prepared the night before or the day before your camping trip. Designate an area of your home and just pile all of the stuff that you're going to be bringing in the car or better, pack your car the day before or the night before. We can't do this because we're going to be using a rental car. It'll just make going out the door a lot smoother, especially if you have a baby with you. Don't rely on your memory. Use a checklist. You can use mine down below. I'll put it in the description. Mine is organized into categories and then on my floor I just keep all of the items grouped within their categories, which I'll show you in a minute. Charge everything the night before. Your camera batteries, your cell phone battery, your speaker if you need to. And then plan on not doing a whole lot of food preparation the day that you're going to set off on your camping adventure. Try to prep as much as you can the night before. Before we had Dory, Phil and I always camped with a three-person or a two-person tent, but we went crazy and got this guy, which is a six-person tent, and it says it fits two queen air beds. So this is very bougie, very much glamping for us. I believe we bought this at Walmart, and I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but I can find out. For sleeping, we are bringing one queen air mattress. For Phil and I, we're bringing Dory's toddler blow-up air mattress. But realistically, probably one of us will end up in the teeny air mattress and Dory will end up on the big queen mattress with one of us. Or all three of us in the queen mattress, we'll see. Yes, we also have thin blow up camping mats, but we're doing this a little bit fancy for our first trip camping with a toddler. We have to remember to bring our air pump, of course. We have three sleeping bags, just three normal adult sleeping bags. You can also buy toddler sleeping bags, but again, I just didn't want to spend the money. If he's cold, we'll put another layer of clothes on him or he can sleep with us. We're also bringing pillows and extra warm blankets. As far as the rest of our setup, we'll bring camping chairs, one for each of us, including Dory. Dory has his own miniature camping chair. We'll bring a tarp just in case it rains and possibly a pop-up beach tent to bring with us on that beach day. The toiletry category, which I'll grab at the last minute going out the door, will include our toothbrushes, toothpaste, towels for each of us, sunscreen, bug spray, nail clippers, contacts and contact solutions, slash glasses, hairbrush, soap, and any other last minute bathroom things I happen to think of. We'll bring all of Dory's normal diaper stuff, so I'll bring about five or six diapers a day, changing mat, butt cream, wipes, hand sanitizer, doggy poo poo bags to put the diapers in when we're out and about, Dory's sleep stuff to ensure that he gets a good night's sleep and naps, ha 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 ha, his blankie, his binky, a book to read him at night, his sound machine because we usually have a sound machine going at night, and extra batteries for the sound machine. I've heard that when you take babies and toddlers camping to throw out all sleep expectations and just roll with the punches, they'll sleep when they sleep, sleep where they sleep, and you just kind of accept that. In addition to all the meal planning food and snacks for Phil and I and water, we also have a special category here for Dory snacks and drinks, which includes things like his remembering to bring his bowls, his sippy cups, his milk. He drinks whole cow's milk, which I'll be putting into my thermos to hopefully keep cold for 24 hours, and then we might have to pick up some more milk. I also am bringing shelf-stable oat milk, so he can drink that as well, and Phil and I will have some milk to put into our coffees. And all the little Dory snacks that I just know he likes, like squirt packets, dry snacks, fruit bars, all that kind of toddler stuff. Some miscellaneous supplies that are really important to bring, I just didn't know what category to put them into, include tape, scissors, extra batteries, your phone charger, your phone, your camera, your camera battery, your camera battery charger, your phone charger, did I say that? We like to bring external batteries to charge our phones and make sure they're fully charged before we go out the door so we can charge our phone like two or three times fully during the weekend and then always use the car battery to recharge them if we need to. We're bringing our hiking backpack for Dory to carry him around a little bit more easily on the difficult to walk around places and also for when he gets tired and we also have this thing called the trail magic which is a piece of square material that clips onto our hiking backpack so we can front carry him when he gets tired. 
He's also taken a nap before in the Trail Magic, so I'm hoping he'll do that again this weekend. We're bringing our speaker to listen to music, headlamp, beach toys, a soccer ball, etc, etc, etc. Phil is bringing all of the rock climbing gear plus Dory's rock climbing gear because this is going to be the first time Dory's ever rock climbed outside. Maybe, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see if he likes it and if he's willing to do it. For kitchen stuff, we're gonna be cooking all of our own meals, so we need our stove and fuel. We'll need our lighter and or matches, a pot, a pan with lids, cutlery, plates and bowls, a sharp knife, something to wash the dishes in, our coffee maker, very important, aluminum foil, paper towels, garbage bags, toilet paper. <sighs> this is a mess. For outfits to bring, we pretty much have to pack for all kinds of weather because we're going to the desert, which means it's gonna be pretty cold at night, it's gonna be pretty hot during the day. I think the nighttime is forecasted to be around seven degrees Celsius, which is about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't sound that cold, but when you're sleeping on the ground, it's pretty chilly. Oh my God, look at this iced coffee. Mm. I'm not a big fan of buying expensive gear, outdoor gear, or any, really any kind of baby clothes or baby gear, just because their interests change so fast, their sizes change so fast, and so I like to get a lot of things secondhand or just improvise with what I have in his closet. So for PJs, I'm just bringing some warm thermal PJs that he already has. I have some backup cotton PJs, which I, I think cotton PJs are kind of a no-no for cold weather camping, but it is what it is. If he pees his thermal PJs, he's gonna be wearing these. A lot of moms who are really outdoorsy recommend wool PJs or merino wool PJs for babies and for adults, actually. I've never tried them personally because they are a little bit pricey, but I hear that this is a really good investment. For clothes for Dory during the day, I'm gonna be bringing some warm weather clothes, some cold weather clothes, and then doubling it because we're gonna be in a car, so there's more space than usual. I don't feel like I have to be super frugal about how many pairs of pants or how many shirts that I bring for him. I think I'll bring like six or seven pairs of socks. I'm gonna bring a couple of different pairs of water shoes for him for when we go to the beach because I'm not sure which ones to bring. I'll bring a couple of different pairs of sneakers. For myself, I'll bring like three or four pairs of underwear, three or four pairs of socks, one bra, some warm PJs, a couple of different outfits to wear during the day that are warm, and then some shorts just in case it gets really hot. I'll bring my hiking boots for getting around during the day, and then my flip-flops for hanging around the camping area. Phil and Dory both have Crocs, or like imitation Crocs, and I feel like those are actually the best shoes, maybe the ugliest shoes, but the best shoes for walking around your camping area. Just because you can keep your socks on, and you can slip them on and off, and like go to the bathroom easily or just hang out around the fire. Because the mornings and the evenings can be pretty cold and even in the shade during the day it can be pretty cold in the desert, I'm gonna be bringing outerwear for all of us so that means a bear suit for Dory, his snowsuit just in case, just in case it's really chilly. As a mom it's like my greatest fear that my son is gonna be freezing cold, like freezing cold and not eating enough, right? And I'm gonna bring his rain gear, his rain suit, just in case it's rainy. I have a lighter jacket for him as well, I'm basically bringing everything. For my I have a warm North Face sweater, a puffy jacket, and then a rain shell, a rain jacket just in case it rains. And we all have our winter hats as well. One of the most important categories I have for my list personally is Dory's car entertainment stuff because my toddler is so bad in the car. He hates the car. He always has hated the car. So I need to be extra, extra prepared for a five hour road trip, our longest road trip ever. Wish me luck. I have a lot of the normal things that I would bring on a long flight. I've shared some of them on this channel before. So if you have happen to have a long road trip or flight coming up, make sure you watch a couple of those videos, just things that entertain toddlers on the plane. Dory's actually really amazing on flights. He's been on over 30 flights and he's been great on them. And most of that is because he's not restrained on them he can sort of crawl all over us but in a car he's in his car seat he hates it he hates being restrained and so it takes a little bit more effort for us to entertain him we've got a tablet that holds his attention for not very long at this point we use things like water wows which are really great I'm packing all the things that he's been into lately like silly putty play-doh coloring books stickers magnetic blocks cake pan or a pan of sorts for your baby to put the magnetic blocks on top of and play with them in the car so they're kind of contained and they stick to it. I don't know, I think he'll really like this, we'll see. I have to talk about all the entertainment stuff while he's taking a nap so he doesn't see any of it, I can hide it, and then when he wakes up I'll continue this video talking about all the other boring for him camping stuff. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit desperate for this car ride to go well because I ordered some more Amazon stuff to keep him busy. This really cute magnetic 
shape things and a rainbow writing tablet. This is actually two tablets in one. He played with this at my friend's kid's house and he really liked it, so we'll give it a try in the car. So that's everything we're packing. If I forgot to mention anything, it'll be in the list and the link down below, so make sure and check that out. Please let us all know if I forgot anything in the comments down below, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.